yoga day, time of day, yoga, whatever. Happy you're here. So let's get started in child's pose. As always, taking the time to settle in. So however that needs to happen for you. Sometimes I like to do these little side stretches before I settle in. You do you. Just making sure that as you drop your forehead to the ground, you feel restful. So if it doesn't feel at ease, grab a block, right? Put your forehead on a block, pause here. It doesn't have to be a lot. I don't want it to be a lot. Don't let it be a lot. Press up to all fours. Take the time to really feel nice and stable and take three cow cats. And as always, please have a block or pillow handy. We just don't know what's gonna come, so we wanna be prepared. It's the Girl Scout in me. Right, it could be an easy flow. I could end up going crazy off the mat. We don't know. And pause when you've done three of each. Flip your fingertips. If you can only do one hand at a time, awesome. If you want to try for both, awesome. And we're just going to gently lean back, getting a nice stretch across the forearms. Especially for people who do a lot with their hands, this can be really kind of painful. Um, so we want to just open up here. And really, in these days, like who doesn't do a lot with their hands? Typing, texting. If you're one of those people who when you're driving, you're like grabbing the steering wheel for dear life, just let it gently open up for you. Press forward and then one hand at a time, remove your weight. We're going to do a little bit of the opposite now. Press your hand, back of the hand, and lean back. I only do one at a time with this. I just feel like there's too much opportunity, uh, I don't know, to hurt yourself. So just do one hand at a time. When you feel complete on one side, switch to the other. So I had an IVP and an MRI this morning, so they injected me full of dye. And I keep imagining like there's dye in my bones. And it's not in my bones, but you know what I mean. And release. As you're ready, walk the hands out, tuck the toes, downward facing dog, pedal out here. Welcoming the body into this moment, here and now. I have to tell you guys, the only thing that kept me from freaking out in that MRI was meditation. I opted to not be sedated because I just don't want any extra drugs. And um, yeah, man, Yoga Nidra saved my soul in that situation. Inhale, exhale. Again, inhale, exhale. Letting your practice be your moving meditation. Feet to hands, halfway lift, pause. I'm doing a lot of this pausing because I don't want us to just rush through and miss the benefit of the pose. Ragdoll, fold, hang, soften. Inhale, rise up. I'm thinking of a sister, <laughs> sister, a paper my sister wrote in college where she defined a redundant three different times to be redundant and funny, and I don't know why in my child brain that still exists in my adult brain. Grab a wrist, lean to the side. So every time I say something three different times, I imagine that paper she wrote. And back to the center, other side, just gentle opening. Back to the center. 
Cactus your arms, squeeze the shoulder blades together, tilt the rib cage up. Last thing to happen is the chin lifts. Back to center, forward fold. Halfway lift, plant the hands, drive the uh, knees, those are your knees, into the armpits, and then step back, high push up. Side plank, pick a side, any side, drop a knee, lift a leg, you do you. Other side. Down dog, skipping that chaturanga today. For now, at least. Inhale, look at your hands, exhale, feet to hands, halfway lift. Bow forward. Inhale, rise up. Pause. Someone speak the heat. Palms forward. Eyes closed. Take a breath. Right here, right now, what can you focus on that's nowhere else but in your body? Open your eyes. Right leg lifts up, lunge it back, landing in warrior one. This beautiful idea of from our feet, working our way up into our fingertips, present here and now, every cell in the body awake. Hear me now, we're stepping into chair pose, right leg meets left. Standing leg raise, left knee lifts. Land behind you, warrior one. Coming back into your chair pose. Standing up to Dasana. Hands to heart center, eyes closed again. Right here, right now. Notice your toes. Pick up all 10 toes, fan them apart. Drop just your big toe. Press to the four corners of your feet, not the toes. The ball on the foot, the heel on the foot. And then let the other toes settle onto the mat. Inhale, lift up, look up. Exhale, fold back down. Halfway lift. Plant the hands, drive the knees into the armpits. High push up. Side plank, pick a side, we'll do both. Downward facing dog. Right leg forward, warrior two, stepping straight into it. Taking your lunge here, go for it. Right, it's only a 20 minute practice. You don't have to save your energy for an hour. This is it, this might be the only one we do. I know Bethany, she's always got a great 90 degree lunge, man. Down dog, step it back, left side. And then I think of like Kelly, who's super fucking super tall, 
So step long across the mat, Kelly. Like go two inches farther than you think you can. Surprise yourself. Downward facing dog. Exhale. <sighs> Feet to hands, halfway lift. Forward fold. Rise up. Samasika he. You've been here before. Pause. Notice your shoulders. Can you relax them? Away from the ears. Let them operate independently. Clasp your hands behind your back. Straighten the arms. Lift the heart. Spread the collarbones. Chin lifts. Come back to some of the pinky. Pay attention as you release which pinky is on the outside. We're going to do that one more time. Opposite pinky clasps on the outside of the hands. Straighten the elbows. Pull the shoulder blades. Lift the heart. Release Samasitihi, final time of practice. Plug in right now. Where in your body wants more breath? Inhale, lift up, look up. Exhale, fold down. Halfway lift, plant your hands. Knees to armpits, pause. Side plank. Final side plank on this side, stay with it. Other side, rolling over intentionally on the toes. Hips as high as you can get them. High push up, down dog, exhale. Coming onto the knees, tuck your toes, broken toe pose. Lift the shoulders over the hips. Just letting the feet open up. I know it's painful, I know. One more breath, you've got it. Untuck, come onto the hands, tap the feet. Woo, always so painful. Come on to the back. Supta Baddha Konasana. Soles of the feet together, knees wide, pause here. baby. As much as possible pressing sacrum spine and skull flat into the ground. I was teaching at a yacht club the other day and there was an anesthesiologist in the room and every time I teach physicians or people who know anatomy way better than I do, I'm always like, I know I'm using terms that don't always make sense. I like I have to qualify it, right? Like if I say I know I'm doing it, then it's different. I don't know. Gently rock side to side if you haven't started already. Just letting the low back simmer on the ground. Giving it a little attention. Coming to stillness. Release the feet. Cross your right knee over your left knee. So you're crossing your legs. 
Pull both knees in, grab the ankles. We're staying for three breaths, super quick. Release, other side. Crossing the knees first, then rising inward, then reaching. Long-term goal, the core and the shoulders and the head stay on the ground as you reach. If you need to lift up and then settle down, do that. Or even better, put a pillow under your shoulders and make life easy. Release. Arms come to a T or goal post, legs bend at 90, take a twist. Two more cycles of breath here. Let the eyes close. Come back to the center, coming inward. This is it, this is your practice. You are worth 20 minutes. Coming back to the center, extend your legs long. Coming onto your back for Savasana. Take a big full inhale in. Hold all of your air and then hold it for a moment longer until you think you just can't hold it anymore. And then sigh out. Allow your breath to just settle here. Take your attention to your forehead. Noticing the touch of air on your skin. Now shift your attention into your eyes. Even though your eyelids are closed, see if you can soften your gaze. If you're normally right eye dominant, see if you can shift and let the left eye be in charge for a bit. Taking your attention down into your ears. Welcoming all of the sounds around you as part of your practice. They are not a distraction from it. They are part of it. Shifting into your nose. Breathing in through the left nostril and then the right nostril. Taking your attention down into your mouth, remove your tongue away from the top of the mouth. Let the lower mandible hang just a bit. Becoming aware of any flavor in the mouth. And finally, Savasana. back into your body. Gently making your way to a fetal position on either side. As you're ready, press yourself up to a simple seat. There's no rush.
Inhale your hands to heart center. The place in me that is here and now acknowledges that same place in you. And together we say, Namaste. Thank you, my friends, my yogis, my community. If you need anything, you know, just email me, DM, you know where to find me. Everybody, you're good with Megan. Have a good one.